Hello Hyper Friend, hari ini gue ada di Boot Cryoric Dan banyak banget nih produk-produk dari Cryoric yang interested banget Gue ya, di introduce sama salah satu manajernya di sini. Jadi dia akan memberitahu kita tentang produk-produk terbarunya Langsung aja kita interview bareng-bareng Hi, um, I'm Steve from Cryoric This is a uh, this is the C7 copper. It's based on our existing C7 cooler, but what's done differently is that we are using fully copper uh, heating fins, so you get um, added performance out of your um, low profile ATX cooler. This is already on the market right now. Um, it's one of the best small form factor coolers available on the market. Okay, and then right here we have the. R5. R5 is our new flagship model. It uses dual fans and six six copper heat pipes. And um, if you could see on the bottom, this is our new click mount. This is a completely uh, revolutionary um, heat, uh, mounting design that allows you to install the heat sink with only one hand, and it's uh, as uh, it's probably the most um, easy, simplest um, solution on the market to install your cooler. Let me show you over here. Okay, so basically this is a uh, spring clip. Once the uh, mounting bracket is on, all you have to do is use one hand and then it's secure. Um, it's secure on the uh, main board but still just with a uh, turn of one screw. Now you have your um, firm uh, mounting pressure on on your um, CPU heating like that. So this is a uh, very easy design that uh, should help end users to install their products fast and uh, limit error, limit uh, user error when they're installing their product. Uh, right here we also have the uh, H7 Plus. Uh, it's built on the existing H7, but we've added a uh, additional fan for more performance and. Also, uh, we're going with a black uh, fan blade design to differ differentiate from the H7. And along with the H7 line, we also have the H7 Ultra. Um, by going with the, the, the name Ultra means that uh, we're adding a extra heat pipe. The original was only three. Now we have four heat pipes for um, um, increased um, TDP capacity. And uh, just like the H7 Plus, this is also a dual fan version of the M9. This is called the M9 Plus. It will support both Intel and AMD CPUs. So uh, just just like the H7, uh, we're adding an additional fan to get slightly better performance out of it. Uh, this is the H7 Ultra RGB. It's based on also the um, our H7 design, H7 with uh, additional heat pipe and a uh, Chrono 120 RGB fan. So what you get here is a uh, full RGB effect on the on the fan frame and on the top top plate. And with each H7 Ultra RGB, you get a uh, full RGB controller. So. Uh, both of these um, regions are connected to the controller and you can do um, individual RGB control of these two sections. Uh, the controller itself is um, uh, five, you can uh, accept um, five volt addressable signal and 12 volt RGB signal. Or you can use it as a standalone device if your main board does not have any RGB capabilities. So basically it's, um, it should fit any situation possible for the user. Okay, this is the Chrono 120. This is Cryorate's first uh, RGB fan product. Um, as you can see, we removed the front frame so you get a un unobstructed view of the full lighting system. Um, even from um, any, any angle or any side, you can see the full lighting elements. And um, especially if you do it on the front of the, of the case or in the radiator, you can see that it's cleanly aligned. You don't have anything um, coming into the blocking the view of the RGB LED. And with each, um, each, each Chrono 120, you actually get the, uh, the control box. This is the con Chrono controller. It is a, um, it can accept um, both 5 volt 
uh, adjustable RGB and 12 volt RGB and pass through to the fans. Or you can use the fan co the, the chrono controller uh, as a standalone device and then do all of your RGB control directly with um, the controller. Uh, with the controller you get a, uh, uh, a remote control that allows you to control all of the effects. You could do um, different special effects, you could change the colors, change the lighting, change the, the, the effect speed, all of that. Or I could actually push this and then you can go into um, you can control your RGB through your um, main board software or any kind of software that you like. Okay, uh, one more thing is that um, with the uh, Krona's um, uh, structural design is that there is actually a second ring of light, a kind of like a uh, halo effect that's shown on the back of the frame. That's achieved by um, there is actually openings on the side of the uh, fan frame that allows the lighting to uh, bleed out. So you get this nice uh, round ring of um, lighting surrounding your fan frame. This is the uh, Cryorig Frostbit. This is the industry first M.2 heatsink with heat pipe technology. And besides just using one up, one visible heat pipe, there is actually a secondary heat pipe um, at the bottom. This is a one millimeter thick, ultra thin heat pipe. So, with the with the with the full system, you get around 20 degrees cooler than your original uh, M.2 SSD. And this part is actually um, adjustable. So basically, if you have a um, in your system, you have a large GPU card or any kind of card close to it. You can adjust to an angle that avoids all that. And once you've adjusted to the angle that you want, you just tighten the screws and you're all done. And suppose that you have a uh, situation where um, there's no space to have you to install the heatsink. You can actually completely remove it and only use the base plate. And with the base plate by itself, um, you get around um, five to 10 degrees um, Celsius improvement on cooling. This is the Crowrig Top. This is both a full ITX case and a PC monitor stand. So the full PC can fit inside the drawer. So you have a full ITX system, um, two 2.5 inch drive bays and one 3.5 inch drive bays. And over here, you get a uh, full um, G2 card, full length, around uh, 28 centimeters. So basically, all of the you know, high-end cards can fit without problem. Um, this is uh, already available on the market. It is a uh, really quality premium, um, full aluminum chassis. The drawer is easily um, pushed in and out, and actually, um, you can pop open this, uh, the, the system tray can actually fully come out. So suppose that you need to swap items, you have to clean your PC, you just pop it out and you can do all of that simply. With the, uh, with the, with the product you also have uh, wooden, true wooden legs. So we get this very, uh, uh, I would say Mac-like design uh, or, or like uh, Scandinavian design of a, a product. Put this in. So it's um, the full system is easy, accessible. You can put a full size uh, mechanical keyboard underneath without problem. So the design concept is that we want to keep, create a very clean desk space. So basically, with everything uh, aligned vertically, you, know, you can have your monitor on top, your keyboard tucked into the bottom, so that um, you could use your desk space for um, other 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 purposes if you need. So this is uh, one of our first cases. Uh, we're trying to work on uh, other versions of it and possibly other case designs in the future.